Welcome to the Dementia Caregiver Talk Show, a podcast to help you navigate the senior care maze. Learn and laugh with us as we discuss creative solutions and ideas to common and uncommon dementia care challenges and how to make sense of the senior care industry and options, even if you're not a professional. Hello and welcome to the Dementia Care Partner Talk Show. My name is Valerie and I'm here with Tifa and Joanne. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Good. Good I'm doing all right. It's, 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 it's a little rainy. I'm still out in Seattle. So, you know, of course they say it doesn't rain when I'm not here, but right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't That's decide if they're making that, that up or if it's true. <laughs> Today we wanted to talk about a topic that comes up all the time and it's related to bathing and hygiene because, you know, we have a, a Facebook group for listeners of our show and we got a question in there and we thought I'll just go ahead and read the question and have Tifa talk about it because she gives a, can give some really incredible insights into things. So the question we got was, my mom hasn't bathed for a few years and quit using washcloths in the past four months. Her go-to is and has been baby powder. Thankfully, she's not naturally a stinky person. How concerned do we need to be? She lives at home with my dad. He's hesitant to be apart, and she quit letting me wash her hair in the last month. Thank God for shampoo caps, but still not as clean as I'd like. Thank you for your input. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I want to unpack this a little bit because what happens is we get focused on, we've got a whole body here that isn't getting clean. And there's lots of bits and pieces. And what I heard is a woman who is getting less and less capable of doing self-care. And she has a lifetime partner who is not going to be her care partner. It's not his thing. He is either not able or not interested. And her daughter, who had previously been able to partner with her and is still trying to partner with her, is finding it more and more challenging because they have a previous relationship as well. And that previous relationship is mother and daughter. And so mom has always ultimately gotten what she wanted. So I'm going to I'm going to say that one of the most important things probably to do is to break this down into littler pieces because I'm going to bet if she's having this much trouble with bathing and hair care, there's probably other parts of her that are not necessarily getting what they need, um, that they're not getting the hygiene attention that you or I would give parts of ourselves for hygiene. So Joanne, I'm going to yes. ask you to consider where do you do things with your body that you think would require, and I'm going to have you break it down to body parts. Where do you think you have parts of your body where you do things that it means you get possibly some bacteria there, or you get some dirt there, or you get some stuff there that you should episodically get rid of, or it's going to build up to a place where you've got the potential for infections or you've got the potential for skin breakdown or you've got the potential for uh, anaerobic kind of growth of bacteria, which means bacteria that grow where they can't get oxygen. Um, or right. you've got bacteria that you're getting on yourself from other items or other resource things in the world and you, if you don't clean them off, then you have potential to take them from one place on you to another place on you. Right. There are some places you can think of where bacteria or stuff builds up. Right. Well, I, my first thought, I have two thoughts here, and one of them is uh, the hands. Um, okay. we, are, we are so accustomed, uh, all of us, to wash our hands all the time after okay. we, before we touch something or before we go to something else. But yeah. that isn't true of someone who is struggling at this point. And I think... Right. We overlook those hands as okay. to what they're doing with them. <laughs> okay, yeah. And so I'm going to push you a little harder on that area because, yeah, you guys, and that's really true. We might notice hands. What's at the end of each of your fingers? Oh, yeah. The fingernails are oh. the worst. Yeah, and, and so they grow. I mean, they're yeah. always growing. Right. And we forget that we they need to be trimmed and cleaned. And, 
You know, one of the things that we can do, because women generally love to have their nails done, and uh -huh. so depending on how you approach that person and the way that you speak to them about, let's get those fingernails clean, rather than talking about just going and, oh, let's, oh, look how beautiful this is. Let's make those look really pretty Ooh, and your clean them up. Those look really dry, dry Joanne. Wow. Yeah. Those cuticles <laughs> are so dry. Mostly during a handshake when I have your hand maybe in a hand under hand support. Right. Um, Oh, God, look at that. What happened to your polish? Ooh, it checked. Right. <laughs> Here, tell you what. Now, here's the tricky part, and I'm just going to point that out. Fingernails are um, this growing thing, but it's also we use our fingertips because they're hypersensitive to things. That's why our fingertips are used so much because they're so skillful, but they're also very sensitive. So we'll come back to that. So think of another body part where there's a lot of activity there that has potential for bacterial buildup. Well, I can also think about uh, your feet. That's one thing that we have trouble with. Um, okay. So what part of your feet? Well, the other the problem with the feet too is the toenails also because oh. when, when they grow out like that, then they can't wear their shoes. They're on or they curl under or they yeah. poke into things. Yeah. Okay, so we have toenails, but you also have your toes. Yeah. And it turns out your yeah. toes are a place between your toes is mm -hmm. where, because your feet are the bottom of your body, and when gravity is around, it causes as we get older, particularly, or as we have health conditions, that our blood supply is not great for getting back up to the heart. And so we have problems with what's called venous return. We have trouble getting blood supply back up. And what that means is fluid gets sort of stuck down there at the bottom and our feet swell, our ankles swell, our lower legs swells a little bit. And then when we lay down, it doesn't. But what it also means is then those toes get squished more together. And that's when I said, bacteria that um, doesn't have oxygen. So you get to get the smelly toe thing and you get the toe jam and you get the gross and you get dead skin down there. And then for some people as they're moving further along, when they have an incontinence episode, when they're upright, some of that will get down into the shoes. And so the feet are a high risk where we might notice changing someone's pants and helping them get cleaned up that way, but we don't always pay attention to feet and toes and soles of the foot and right. the shoes and those kinds of things. So that's another good one. So the feet and the toes. And the reason I'm moving us on is because you know what? We're gonna come back and do sessions on every one of these. So Joanne, what's another place? Can you think of another place where you put things in all the time and they might be sugary or they might be salty or they might be fatty? Right, right. Well, the oral hygiene is oh. a really big, big issue. And we notice mm. that a lot that people are not getting their teeth brushed. Yeah, and or dentures clean yeah, very well. Yeah, or taking partial plates in and out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And it turns out that there's more to it than that. When we start not getting vigorous, whether it's us or someone else, about cleaning around the gum line, mm -hmm. there's mounting evidence and evidence and, and more and more study that suggests that's high risk for lots of things. And in dementia, one of the things that's high risk for is aspiration and infections right. because that's a blood supply. So, you know, mouth care turns out to be so important and hygiene in and around the mouth. And where do your hands go? <laughs> right. <laughs> or whatever you were doing to your mouth. So this is that idea where if you've ever, you know, eaten at a salad bar and then heard, oh, yeah. you should go because we found, you know, or E. coli or whatever. It means somebody didn't clean their hands the way they should have. And they then did something around food prep or eating or whatever. And so that's important. What about, um, what about other body parts? What about the ears? You yeah, know, because what happens in them. your ears? <laughs> well, 
there's a lot of wax buildup and we don't always wash behind the ears and behind the ears and just really get in and clean those areas too. Yeah, and that, so, can, that can change the sound, your, the way yeah, you're hearing. Yeah, so we have, you know, we have earwax buildup. We mm -hmm. also have when people wear hearing aids in and out and in and out, that's sort of a mechanical, or if somebody has on uh, oxygen with cannula, that having that tube back behind or having things there. And when we speak, we might sleep one side or the other and build up again bacteria when we sleep. Um, and then, of course, we also have, nobody wants to say it, pits and crotch. Um, <laughs> private areas where we pee and we poop and armpits where we sweat um, right. were designed that way. Um, and then at the very late stages of the disease, palms, hands, just like your toes, your hands curl up. And, and close up. And when that happens, that's a lot of closure with no oxygen. Right. So, and then the last one, um, because we sweat, well, women might notice this um, during that phase if they're care partners. Where else do you sweat a lot when you get hot? When you're, when you're out doing something and you're re getting really hot, where will we see it? Well, I, uh, I'm thinking, of course, I'm in Florida, so we sweat mm -hmm. all over, but <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm also thinking about their hair. Good, yes, because yeah. foreheads, if your forehead is sweating, so is your whole head. Right. <laughs> Not isolated on your forehead. But the reason those of us with hair don't notice it is it's being absorbed by the hair. So the sweat is coming out of us and getting all of our hair. And plus, we have oil that comes out. So... What we're going to be doing, I think, in future little sessions is to talk about some of these different pieces. And rather than look at the whole big thing that the lady asked about, I think we need to ask ourselves to look at little parts and pieces so that we can build back up. So a question I would ask her back is, does she, her back is, does she do hand washing? Will she let you wash her feet? Because sometimes starting at the extremities, mm. before, giving it, your idea of care, doing something that's nice, not not care, but care, um, and being a care partner. Ooh, hey, mom, your hands are really dry. Here, tell you what, let's soak them for a second in nice warm. How does that feel? Oh, yeah, now I put a little, see, I, I put lemon in it. Do you, yeah, you like that? Or whatever smell the person might like. That's a starter. So when we get back another session, how about we dig into that a little bit? I love that idea. And Tipa, I remember on one of the episodes that you did with one of our gentlemen, Ray, you, his feet and skin were so dry and he was, he actually allowed you to take his socks off to put some lotion on him. And his comment back to you was, wow, that feels good. Yeah. <laughs> it's all <Yeah. laughs> oh. All right. Well, that sounds wonderful. That way, uh, you know, you'll address things one at a time. And I think that's going to be really helpful. So thank you very much, Tipa and, and Joanne. And um, then we hope to hear you back in one of our coming episodes. And we promise that we will answer that question. It'll just be a piece at a time. Yes. That's right. right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.